My first impression of the Invention Project is fun, cool, exciting. The STEM that we provide through fall, allowing them to actually utilize it during the summer. Invention Project provides teachers with everything they can possibly need to implement it successfully, and that makes it so useful. There are videos, there are guides, there are even scripts, there are supplemental materials. The Invention Projects are already have lesson plans out. They have step-by-step -step videos, they have step-by-step -step instructions for our kids and for our staff that are teaching them. Make a monster out of like these recycled things or these are the materials we have, like build something out of it. That is STEM, that is the core of STEM. You're building, you're just using your imagination, you're taking one thing and making it into another. When they are working together and collaborating, they blossom. And because it's so empowering, you'll see students that normally might be highly introverted and afraid to share out or afraid to speak in English, and they are having no qualms about doing that in this program. And they see videos of real live scientists and people who are walking them through what to do. And no longer is language that barrier. Guess. Oh, it's a car that you can clean in English. Yeah, it's a car that you can clean in So his uh, invention is a car that uh, can clean itself. So it's got retractable arms in it that can spray water and it's got brushes on the bottom and stuff like that. Yeah, <laughs> he was saying because the streets can be dirty sometimes and he wants to have a clean car. They're just focused, they're, they're creating, they're moving, they're up out of their seats, they're around the classroom. They're collaborating with each other, they're smiling. When you see that happening in a classroom and you walk in and nobody, they're so engaged in learning that they don't even pay you any attention, you know they love it. They were helping each other all the time. Whenever they would do something, if they wanted an idea, they would ask the person across the table or get up and go around to a different table. If they seen something out of the corner of their eye, that they liked, they would take it and make it their own. So I was able to see students that I had taught in the summer school increase confidence. And when teachers are asking them questions like, can someone explain what a habitat is? Hands fly. And these are my students that I had invention project. beyond the classroom so kids are more confident and competent in their abilities to try new things, to make mistakes, to fail, and then they're willing to try, keep trying outside of the classroom and that gives them a lifelong skill. Oh my goodness, look how fancy that is. Personal hands-on experiences are so important. To begin working with your hands and figuring things yourself because problem solving is something they will need forever and I think they were allowed the freedom to not just get instruction but they were allowed the freedom to start thinking on their own. It is about allowing students the space to create, to learn and to grow and then pulling the teacher back a little bit and letting the student move forward with their education and get engaged in what they're learning. And the feedback that I've gotten has all been about the STEM kids.